first stop we're going to is La Perlita. This is one of our favorite spots to get coffee. It's in this really cool looking building. Next to this restaurant called Republica. I think it's owned by the same dude. Let's get inside. I wanna try the San Lorenzo. Yeah. That sounds good. Normally I get the true Mexican. Oh actually that's what Jen gets. You gonna get that? Cool, thank you. Damn, that looks good. So I got this based on their recommendations for flash brewing. Video coming soon. Mm -hmm. How's that? It's really good. Um, I haven't had the iced version before, but it's pretty good. It tastes kind of like a chocolate milkshake. Let me see. I mean, it doesn't taste like a lot like coffee. It's, it tastes like Mexican oh, yeah. chocolate. Yeah. That is, that's really good actually. Mm -hmm. This is super refreshing. This is called the San Lorenzo. I think he said it was like flash brewing basically. Or it's like a Jamaica with coffee in it. So he said like it was like uh, an adult Kool-Aid. <laughs> it was actually like the first sip was like a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's like you get the sweetness and you get the tartness and then you get like a little bit of the bitterness. Yeah. It is it is good for today because it's like a hundred degrees really out today. Good. When I saw the like what goes into this, I was like that sounds interesting, but it's actually really good. There's like cherry mm. and like some lime. This is bomb. All right, on to the next stop. <laughs> this is the cafe. So I guess they also do Korean shave ice here. Is it Korean shave ice or is it just shave ice? This one is called Lionheart. They have two locations. This is just one of them. That's cool. Here it is. We got this chai iced latte because it's hot. And we got turmeric latte because it's hot. This is like one of their specialty drinks. Sounds really weird, but it's actually pretty good. It's like super yellow. Yeah. Can you pop off the top of this? Show me. Because it's a turmeric. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's actually really good. It's like a really good winter drink. Or if you have like an upset Oh, yeah. Two makes good for that, and they just have pretty good chai. I like to get the chai from here. Everything else here is pretty good too. Waiting on the breakfast sandwich. This is like a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, but like they make it fresh. <laughs> Go check out Lionheart. It's a good coffee kind of place. All right, on to the next one. Next spot we're going to is called Kopi. Here it is. Kopi, which means coffee in, I think, Indonesia. It's warm. I think it's like the coffee but with milk. That ginger one. It kind of tastes a little burnt. Yeah, this is pretty good. The Kedai Susu. Top of the menu. It's a good sugary drink.
So this coffee shop is pretty good if you want to like support local businesses and try out some unique drinks. It's not bad. I've definitely had better tasting coffee in like other spots, but this is like one of the local spots. <clears throat> it's just ginger coffee. I made I made a video with one of their coffees before. You can check that out right here. And yeah, it's good for making like espresso and stuff. Although this one tastes kind of burnt. I wonder which one they use. It's not bitter. Yeah, like Starbucks coffee. It's like when they burn their coffee, it tastes really good. Same thing with like uh, Portland Roasters. You guys like that? I'm sorry, but that's not good coffee. There's another cafe like across the street from here. It's called Soro Soro, and it's like right there. Okay, after careful consideration of drinking this ginger latte again, it's not burnt. It's just the way the ginger tastes mixed with everything. So it's not burnt coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that was my mistake. Because it's not acidic and it's not like bitter. It's just the taste of the ginger. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. It's good coffee. They do have other good drinks. It's just that it tasted kind of weird just because I haven't, I'm not used to drinking ginger latte before. With ginger with your coffee? Yeah, so it's not bad. It's good. Blink twice if you, if you need help. <laughs> soro, soro. Oh, they do have matcha tiramisu. Yeah. Can we get the matcha tiramisu? Matcha tiramisu. She's been she's been craving this. Mm. Cute little cafe. They also have hojicha, which is something that I've been wanting to drink for a while now. But Snow Bunny is no longer serving it, so it's cool to find that Soro Soro has it. Definitely another cool spot to go to. Like a cute thing spot. Yeah, definitely. We've only been here like one other time. They also do those coffees where like it's a lot of foam and it's like the the cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. They do like the stencil. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cute. So I'd recommend checking this place out too. It kind of looks like a poster. I think it's supposed to be a cat <laughs> or a dog. It's a cat. Latte art. To a, to a true sense, it's really cool, and it comes with a little cream puff. Yeah. I think last time they did like a little layer. Oh yeah, I think it was like puffier, right? Like yeah. it kind of stuck yeah. out. But yeah, this looks good. Let's That's see how it tastes. Nice. You gotta do it for the gram one time. Yeah. How is it? Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, it is pretty earthy, kind of chalky almost. like tea. It's good. Does it scratch the spot? Does it scratch the spot? Does it hit the spot? Mmm. Mm, this is good. Man. This is like not sweet. Not sweet. Ooh, yeah. Try it now. Drink this now. I recommend doing that. Get a dessert and a drink. Not a sweet drink. The dessert is super sweet. So the drink's gonna balance it out. Okay, next spot is uh can't really see the sign here. There we go. Portland Cafe. This is a Vietnamese coffee shop. They got Vietnamese coffee. Let's go. Okay, so I got the Cafe Sua, which is the Vietnamese coffee. I made a video about that if you want to check it out on my channel. Link it in the corner. Jen got like one of their new drinks. It's like a... Uh, 
hibiscus mango lemonade or something. Oh yeah, hibiscus mango iced tea. That sounds good. Good drink for the summer. As you can see, the Vietnamese, it's not the flag, but the, um, that's what the country looks like. It's a giant S. Thank you. There's my coffee. This is where my family's from, right here. Well, I have family here, but my family, like, we're from this area. Let's go. We gotta drink this outside. Yep, it's just tea. It's nothing special. Yeah, it just tastes just like your biscuits, though. Like, the uh, one my mom makes. Mm. There's no sweetener in it, so it's, it's kind of tangy. But it's, it's... Can you taste the mango? Like it. No. Just the Vietnamese coffee. I've had it before, so it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's how Vietnamese coffee should taste. But mm -hmm. the way they're doing it is like they're using a um, an espresso machine to make it instead of like the traditional fiend filter, which is how I did it. If you check out that video right here. Since this is like a cafe, they probably don't have the time and people are in a rush and stuff. But I, th I was saying that if they offered it on their menu, that, you know, all these people and hipsters and whatever around here will buy it up because, like, it's one of those weird drinks, or not weird, but like a, a random drink that, like, it's just like a cultural experience. Yeah, you know? pretty much. Right. And like, you know, they would pay for that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that if they were to do it, that they would be able to make money. Yeah. Because I know there was a cafe in Seattle. We didn't go to it, but there's a cafe in Seattle that does that. And mm -hmm. they charge like quite a bit. I'm like, damn, they're smart. If people from Portland Cafe ever come across this video, that's my suggestion to you guys. <laughs> do the fiend filter style. So we didn't get it today, but they have this other drink which is like the Vietnamese coffee but with like ube flavoring mm -hmm. right? yeah you like can that. add like flavors to the coffee yeah which is cool yeah. I would definitely check this place out too if you're ever in the Portland area or if you are in the Portland area support your local business mm -hmm. and they're Vietnamese owned so uh, yeah that's another cool thing cool all right on to the next spot here we are, Never Coffee. This one, they have two locations. This one's downtown. Yeah, the other one's like um, east side somewhere, I forget. But they have pretty good coffee, I like it. Never came by, and this was their special drink that they did with uh, Muji. It was good, still good actually. It's like it's the yuzu salt, so it's like a yuzu syrup that they make, and then I think like the there's like a powder that they pour on top, and it was like kind of salty. Um, so I I highly recommend uh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I highly recommend going to Never and like you know all these other coffee shops that we went to. We didn't even talk about my drink. No, we're closing out. And that's how it is. Like and subscribe. Uh, I don't know what you got. It looks like matcha. Oh uh, yeah, it's matcha, but it's called the pop. And it's supposed to have like uh, thing. I should have gotten the little description. There was like a cherry. Um, and it's supposed to taste like the milk from Fruit Loops, which it actually does. But it's not like super sweet. I'm not sure if they give these out, but like they have these little descriptor cards. This is the Yuzu one. It's 
got a little nice heart on the back. It says yuzu fruit, sancho pepper, burned sugar, and coconut cream. Oh yeah, tastes a little coconut. Uh, big beautiful flavor from a little ugly fruit. <laughs> A smooth latte with mouth tingling bursts of Japanese pepper and orange, so Oregon salt. It's right, it's wrong, it's perfect. I think Never and La Perlita is definitely like my top two, like top two favorite places to go to um, because their coffee is just like such good quality. Hope you guys enjoyed this video that I put together. Took some time because I had to do all this throughout like the weekend, like you know, several days. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It'll really help out my channel. Check out our channel together. I'll link that in the description. Or maybe I'll put that at the end cards. And then check out my other videos right here. Whatever, which ones popped up. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Ah.